Most portrait photographers are going to tell you that eyes are probably the single most important part of a photograph. That's the thing that you really want to nail. And there's a lot that you can do with eyes. And in this tutorial, what I want to cover is um, basically um, how to resize eyes. So this is, this is um, one particular tutorial around eyes in a series of many because there's a lot of things that you can do with eyes um, in Photoshop. Um, but in this in this particular um, um, tutorial, we're going to talk about just how to make eyes a little bit bigger, and we're going to apply this technique to two different photos in two different ways. And what I want to do is just jump right into it. I want to do this in less than two two to three minutes. So as you can see in this picture, I have a um, a model that I worked with recently, and um, you can see she, you know she's got a beautiful face, everything's good, um, but her uh, her right eye, our left is a little bit um, uh, you know more closed than the, than than the other and what I want to do is I want to basically just open that up a little bit so that they're more proportionate and <clears throat> the way I'm gonna do that is I'm gonna grab uh, my lasso tool so right up here and I'm gonna draw a line around her eye and I'm gonna be sure to go under the eyebrow but over the eyelashes and then on the underside I'm gonna make sure and um, go under the bag area of her eye and then once I have that lasso what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna um, go ahead and press shift F6 and you can also go up to select modify um, feather if you'd like and essentially what we're gonna do is here I'm gonna do it here shift F6 what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and feather the outside we're going to um, clone um, her eye, and then we're going to go ahead and feather the outside of it so that it'll blend back in really nicely once we resize it. And I'm going to use a feather radius of 5, and you can do anywhere between 5 and 8 seems to work. And I'm going to go ahead and click OK. And then the next thing I want to do is create um, a new layer with this, um, uh, with this copy of the eye onto it. So I'm going to go ahead and say Control, or on a Mac it would be Command, um, and then J. Okay, so you can see over here now, I have um, I have it on a layer. If I were to turn everything off, you should still see the eye there. Okay. So the next thing I want to do is I want to go ahead and start to do a free transform on this. So I'm going to click Control T, and that should bring up um, the anchor handles for this. And then what I want to do is I want to um, hold down Shift and Alt as I drag this um, corner. It could be any of the corners but just make sure it's one of the corners. Drag it out just a little bit. And that's going to be too much right there. So let's bring it down to something like that. Now it looks a little freaky right there, but go ahead and hit enter. And it still looks too, um, too big, so I missed it in terms of size. So again, I'm going to do control T, and then I'm going to hold down the um, shift alt key. And this time I'm going to make it just a little larger. <clears throat> and then I'm going to move it over um, just a tad. I'm using my control um, button held down and then the arrow keys. And I think that looks a lot better. So now if I zoom out, those are a little, a little closer in terms of how they're matched. And let me show you the difference. And all it is is basically widening her eye. Now there are multiple ways to do this, um, but this is one that, that seems to work pretty well and it's pretty quick and the blending um, uh, seems to blend back in really nicely. You can see around the edges, it's nice. And if you do need to clean it up, then go ahead and do that. Use your clone stamp tool um, or any one of the healing brushes, something like that, um, to clean that up nicely. Okay, so that's doing it on one eye to make um, a single eye bigger. And now let's move over to this image. I love this image. Um, so let's go in here and we're gonna basically give him more of a puppy dog look um, with his eyes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this layer. Not sure what happened there. Let's try that again. Okay, copy the layer. And now I'm going to take my uh, lasso tool and I'm going to again draw around his eye. And I'm going to connect that. And I'm going to hold down the shift key so that I can add to the selection and I'll grab the other eye. And I want to do the same thing now here um, for both of these. I want to go ahead and do Shift F6 on your keyboard. And then I'm going to go ahead and say yes. And then I want to do <coughs> Command or Control for Windows, uh, J. And that creates the new layer. 
and then go ahead and hit um, Command or Control T. And that'll bring up Free Transform. And now what I want to do again is I want to hold down Shift and Alt and I want to drag the handles on the corners um, just a little bit. You know, it can it if it's too dramatic, it'll be it'll be too much for the image. But it's amazing what ten percent um, can do in terms of eyes and how it can really bring a picture alive, especially when you don't see the technique. So if I were to just show this to somebody for the first time, they'd say, "Wow, that's you know that's a beautiful picture. His eyes really pop." Um, now to show you again the before and after. There you go. So take that technique, play around with it, see if it works for your uh, photography. And if it does, then go ahead and incorporate that into your bag of tricks. Um, and I will talk to you next time about more techniques to use for eyes.